Hey folks, I'm John P with Texas Metalworks. Welcome to the shop. Today I wanted to give you a quick overview of our plasma cutting table lineup. We have a brand new introduction and I'm going to talk a little bit about our previous generation, a smaller one. So let's just get right into it. First of all, this is our long time, very successful 30 inch by 48 inch plasma cutting table. You can all obviously also use uh, uh, torches or any other cutting utensil you'd like. But generally speaking, this is a great size for small sheets, small things that you could pick up and put down on here and just cut by hand. We've also seen people mount onto the side or some kind of a makeshift thing from the end, some of the little automated robotic arms that you can bolt on. So this is great for that. As far as features are concerned, when we ship this, this whole unit comes in a box that's you know about this size and all of the legs are made to disassemble. So this is also great because if you were to damage the legs, you can always replace them later. They bolt on from underneath and then they all bolt together. So there's no welding necessary. The, the casters also bolt on. By the way, these casters are good for 300 pounds a piece. So I would say you can very safely put a thousand pounds on this, probably more than you're ever gonna do. Um, other than that, we have these replaceable uh, little supports and we can cut more of these and send them to you. They're just, just little metal pieces that are laser cut. If you wanted to, you could even just take some uh, like one inch bar stock and replace these later. Although having these points does help quite a bit in terms of when you're, when you're dragging that torch over, you're not cutting everything and, and it just lets the, the air flow a little better. Now, two other quick features that you'll notice. One is on this particular table, we bolted on one of our welding table extensions. So this is just a standard 10 inch by 30 inch extension. Same kind of thing that you could put on any of our welding tables. It means they're all interchangeable. So if you had one of these and you had one of our welding tables, you could do that. Uh, another thing that's interchangeable, we have these super slot panels that we put all over our tables and we make these wall panels for and we make little accessories. You'll notice that we also have super, super slots on the side. So if we were, let's say, plasma torch cutting and I had consumables and I wanted to keep them nearby, we could bring them over set them here and then when we're done with them uh, for organization purposes hang them back on the wall where are we going to keep them so that's kind of the the lineup on this table now we've been selling these for a long time and people love them they're fully formed they work great but we have had people tell us they need a bigger table for a variety of different reasons one of which is uh, they're just cutting larger material another is they want to use it to do a DIY plasma cutting table, like an automated CNC table. And also we've had people tell us that they have robotic or cobot arms that they're using a torch or a plasma torch for cutting and they need a sturdy, you know, open kind of uh, area that they can apply those to. So this is our brand new uh, table. This is a four foot by eight foot. And when I say four foot by eight foot, what I mean is that the size is oversized to accept a full four foot by eight foot sheet and you could cut edge to edge without running into anything here. So you'll notice this is basically a giant version of that. Uh, but we've done some things different. First of all, you'll notice that on the sides, we no longer have the super slot. We have these 5 8 inch holes. This is exactly the same thing that you'll find on the welding tables. And it means you could, for example, use uh, extensions like this, but we also make a little cobot mounting block that you could bolt right on the side of the table here. And so you could have your cobot arm reaching around and doing a lot of cutting. Now, we also make this out of completely, uh, you know, folded, bent uh, steel plate. So the sidewalls here are 3 16 and the entire length of it is bent. It's got one, two, and a, a third bend down here. Makes it extremely, extremely rigid. This is also pretty heavy. So it means it doesn't move 
when if you were applying some kind of a CNC to it, you're not going to get a lot of shake and motion in the table. Also because at the bottom here, we make legs. These legs are adjustable height. You'll notice there's bolts on both sides and they're actually extra holes here. So you could raise this up if you want, but on the inside, there is a hole for mounting it directly to the concrete. So this, this table could be bolted down and then it definitely, definitely is not gonna move. Two other quick features. One is a lot of times when people are building plasma cutting tables, they turn them into a water table. So they make the depth of the overall table pretty shallow and then they fill it with water. And the problem with that is that when you're collecting all of your dust in the water, it is nasty. I mean, ask anybody who's ever had one, it's, it's terrible to clean out. And you have to treat the water because it'll grow mold. It's just, it's, it's a terrible mess. So a cleaner uh, way of doing that is to use a fume extraction. So what we've done on this end is we've, we've, uh, we've left a large hole that we can hook a fume extractor up to, and there's just bolting uh, positions here to make a plate. We can give you an adapter that will fit different sizes of, of tubing if you want to connect it, or if you don't want to use that at all, we can just provide a plate that will cover it up. So I highly recommend the use of that. Now, there is one little trick for those of you who've never tried this before. You notice how much open area there is here, okay? If we attach a fume extractor down there and we leave, let's say, half of this open, there's, not, there's too much area for it to actually suck through. So if I was working on a small section right here, what I would do is I would take like some cardboard or some scrap material and cover the rest so you get a good vacuum from exactly where you're cutting in through there. So that's just a little tip. Now, one other thing that happens when we're cutting is parts like to fall through. So if you look down inside, you will notice that the bottom is slanted. It's slanted so that hopefully things come in here and they just kind of work their way down to this end. Now, the question is, once they're down here, how do we get them out? So what we've done is we made this panel completely removable. We can pull this out and you'll notice we've now got a huge opening here. So if I continue to pull it out, the parts are just gonna keep falling. So you could easily put a little bin underneath or something to roll out and you could let your parts fall and gather it out and clean it that way. So that's it. Now, there is one other variant here because we've kind of got the small and the large and the other variant is gonna be a four by four version of this. So just imagine exactly half of this table. And so those are the three options that we've got in the plasma cutting lineup. Now, if you were going to get into building your own kind of DIY CNC, another thing you can use the holes on the side of these for is mounting some sort of rail system for your CNC to go up, up and down. And we don't have a lot of adapters for that yet, but if you have something in particular in mind for using uh, like that, just ping us, let us know. We're happy to design a, a kind of a, a mounting methodology for you that will we'll plug into this table uh, and then we'll make it available for everybody who might want to use it. So that's it. If you have any other questions, as usual, just ping us. And uh, thanks for watching. Let us know if we can help in any other way.